Good morning, grade 12s. Today I'm here to talk to you about your course selection and registration for next year. So I'll be going over the information in this option advice sheet, which you, you should have in front of you right now. So for starters, you might be wondering how many courses you need to be selecting for next year. At a minimum, you need two courses per semester, and this qualifies you as a part-time student. To be considered as a full-time student, you will need three courses per semester. When it comes time to picking courses, you do not need to take religion. So as a fifth year student, you do not need to see religion on your timetable. But you might be wondering what courses you should be taking. And this will depend upon your end game. So if you haven't yet graduated, you'll need to take any compulsory courses that are still outstanding. If you're interested in college or university, then it would be important to choose the prerequisites required for those program choices. If you're interested in university, but you've yet to research programs, then I invite you to go to Ontario University's info.ca. There you can search by subject. So for example, if you're interested in business, you can type in business. What's gonna come up is every program related to business within Ontario. It's gonna tell you the university it's affiliated with, It'll give you a program overview, and then most importantly, related to what we're talking about here, it's gonna tell you the prerequisites you need to get into that program. Generally speaking, you're going to need six grade 12 M or U qualifying courses and the required courses to get into that program. The university will take your top average of your top six. If you're interested in college, it works a little bit different. They're not looking to um, your top six, but rather they're looking at highest marks in required courses for your program choice. Please note that uh, they give no bonus marks or preference to students that are taking grade 12 M or U level courses. So it might be in your best interest to take English 4C instead of the 4U, even if you're eligible, especially if you're picking a competitive program. Um, if you haven't started researching programs, then it would be important to look at ontariocolleges.ca. If you've chosen an oversubscribed program, then it would be important to have all of the required prerequisite courses completed by the end of semester one. So when you receive your timetable in June, you can go over that, and if there's any issues, then you can come and see me in guidance. If you've not yet graduated, but you're interested in college, then you might want to consider the Mohawk Bridge program. This is where you earn a credit towards your high school diploma, and you also earn a credit at Mohawk. So you'll come here, you'll, you'll work through the day, but then you'll also do part of your day at Mohawk. If this is something that you might be interested in, then you can book an appointment with one of our bridge counselors. This would be Mr. Silvestri or Mr. Marcelli. If you're thinking about heading into the workforce after year five, then you might want to consider co-op. And if this is the case, you can speak to one of our co-op teachers. This would include Mrs. Stocco, Mrs. Susie, and Mrs. D'Alessio. If you're not sure about whether or not you want to come back for next year, maybe you're kind of sitting on the fence, perhaps you have already applied to college or university, but now you're thinking you might benefit um, by coming back for fifth year, then I'm going to highly recommend that you register for next year. It's going to be easier to refund you the $50 activity fee and pull courses out than it's going to be adding courses in at a later time because you might not then get the courses that you require or the courses that you want. And with our drop and add period just having ended, many of you are aware of this type of circumstance. If you know you're not returning next year, then what you're gonna be doing is filling out a blue form. And Mr. Bozzo and myself will be traveling around to first period grade 12 classes um, later this week to hand those out. The registration day or the deadline is March 2nd. There are gonna be three things that you will need to complete. The first is your course selection on your My Blueprint. The second is the $50 activity fee paid for the school year of 23-24 on uh, through your school cash online. We will not be accepting any check or money for this. 
And lastly, you're going to verify your personal information on your registration form that will be emailed later to you. Right now, I'm going to go over the, um, the breakdown of how you're going to get into my blueprint because we're using a new system for your course selection this year. So you're going to log into your my site and you're going to locate the blue M icon, which is my blueprint. You're going to click on that. Once you're in, you're going to hang left and you're going to click on your dashboard. After you click on the dashboard, you're going to click on high schools and this will bring you over into your high school planner. Here you can click plus courses and you're going to peruse through our course catalog. So read through the different courses um, and ensure that you understand which courses have prerequisites and whether or not you have those prerequisites. Once you've settled on the courses you want to add, you simply hit add course. Now the neat thing about this program is there's little comment sections and you're going to use this comment section if for example you're picking a course that does not have um, or you're picking a course rather that you do not have the prerequisite for but you're taking that prerequisite over the summer. So here you can kind of jot down that note to your guidance counselor to inform them. So once you have added in all of your courses the next step is simply to review your courses. And this is an, an important step because once you submit your courses, you no longer have access to modify them. Okay, so no changes can take place on your end once you submit those courses. And that's pretty much it in terms of the My Blueprint. So it's, it's really straightforward, nice and simple, easy to access. Um, so let's recap one more time. So the deadline for registration is March 2nd. As Mr. Bozo highlighted um, this morning, that my blueprint is already open up, so you can start picking those, those courses right now. You don't need to wait till March 2nd. Three things that need to be completed. First one is your course selection on your my blueprint. The second is the $50 activity fee for the school year 23-24 paid through School Cash Online. And lastly, you're going to verify your personal information on your registration form. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to book an appointment with me and come and see me in guidance. Thanks, grade 12s.